Check it out. Should I plant this this year? It's a $40 seed package. I didn't open it last year, but I kind of wanted to. Hey guys, it's Devin. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my top 12 vegetables that I'm growing in 2022. So the main goal for this year's garden is to grow as many varieties as I possibly can. I don't want to grow a bunch of one type of seed. I just want to try a bunch of different varieties, get the experience at least. Oh, and I did buy a bunch of different places to grow. So I've got grow bags, a couple different varieties of them, I've got raised garden beds. I'm going to be doing planters on a fence. I'm going to be moving everything around if I can, but I'll figure that out on the way. With that said, hit that like button to bless our whole community with an amazing gardening season. Now, let's see what's in my garden for this year. I'm gonna break what I'm growing into two categories. I'm gonna go very early spring, and I'm gonna go spring. So number one is broccoli. I'm excited to grow this one this year. I didn't really have a lot of success last year. So the three varieties of broccoli that I'll be growing this year is Everest, Green Magic, and Gypsy. And these are all from West Coast Seeds. And both the Gypsy and the Green Magic are heat resistant varieties. So the second thing I'm planning to grow are onions. We use them in cooking all the time. We love them in meal prepping, in any sautés. They're perfect for that. So what I've got is I've got a yellow onion set coming in the mail right now. And then the other one is a Rosso di Milano. I'll be growing these throughout the summer and harvesting them in the fall. So number three is going to be peas and specifically snap peas. I love eating peas as a late night snack. It's one of my favorite things to eat. So I'm going to be growing them in a succession planting and then I'll just be harvesting them, picking them whenever I get hungry at night. So the three varieties that I'll be growing this year are Super Ann, Super Daddy and Super Sugar Snap. So number four is kale. My plan with kale is I use it in all my smoothies almost every single morning. So what I'm going to be doing is planting a bunch of it and then when I harvest it, I'm going to try freezing it because most of the time when I buy kale from the grocery store, it comes already frozen. So the three varieties I'll be growing is the blue curled scotch, the star boar, and the winter boar. So number five is lettuce. Lettuce is one of those things where I use it in salads. I try to eat salads every single day. My plan is to grow a couple different varieties this year. For the spring, I'm going to be growing buttercrunch, coastal star, and super gourmet blend. And then in the fall, I'm going to be growing Paris Island and another batch of Coastal Star. So for number six of the very early spring crops is spinach. I personally love spinach. It's my favorite for almost everything. I use it in my smoothies, I use it in salads. So I'm gonna try a couple different varieties this year and I'm gonna grow enough of it just to pick it and eat it. So the two varieties of spinach that I'm gonna be growing this year is the Renegade and the monstrous de viral flame. And I might order some more, or I might pick some up from my gardening center. In the comments below, let me know if you guys are trying something different, or if you want me to try something different. So here are my spring slash summer vegetables. For number seven, it's gonna be the most famous of them all, tomatoes. I love growing tomatoes. I eat them in my salads. I eat them almost every single day. They're a lot of fun to grow as well. It's just one of those crops that just keeps on giving. My plan this year is I want to make tomato sauce, pasta sauce, preserve the tomatoes as much as I can. So I'm going to grow some cherry tomatoes for my salads, but also bigger tomatoes for canning and preserving. So last year I ended up buying two varieties. I didn't realize that they were so expensive until after I checked out and got them. So they're the Jasper Hybrid and Torangina. So these are like $40 per seed package. I'm going to say they're going to be good. So I'm going to try these in the garden this year. And for my canning tomatoes, I'm going to go with the good old beef steak. And then I'm going to go with the Abe Lincoln. We'll see if I do this, but I might grow the Mountain Magic F1 and the Secure Cherry F1. So number eight is going to be cucumbers. I love eating cucumbers as a snack. They're more often than not in my lunch as a lunchtime kind of something to eat. And my son also loves the cucumbers, so I'm gonna be growing four varieties this year. The first one's gonna be for pickling, and that's the Boston pickling. 
I'm gonna grow this strictly to pickle them at the end of the year. One of the very unique ones is the cookamelon, and this is a very small variety. I'm excited to try this one. Never tried it before. The third variety is the straight eights. I grew these last year and they turned out really well, so I'm gonna grow them again. And the fourth one, and the last one's gonna be the Artist Jerkin F1, and I'm really excited to grow it this year. So number nine is going to be beans. So I'm gonna be growing pole beans, and that's gonna be the, the Fortex, and these are gonna be used uh, to cook with and to can with at the end of the year. I've also got Henderson's Bush, and this one is the Alabama Black Eyed Butter Bean. And both of these lime beans are gonna be grown, and then I wanna see if I can preserve it on a shelf throughout the winter. I don't know if it's able to be done. I think if I dry it, it should be able to get done, but I'll let you guys know. So number 10 is going to be peppers. So the first one I'm gonna be trying is the Arapaho, and this one's got 30,000 to 50,000 Scova scale. I'm not sure how spicy that is to be honest, but comparing it to the Jalapeno, this one's only got 2,500 to 5,000. And then for the cooking one, I'm gonna grow the King Arthur, and I grew this last year, turned out really nice. The peppers tasted amazing. So I'm gonna be trying to grow this again. So number 11 is squash. And I didn't grow it last year, so this year I wanna give it a good shot. So the first one I'm gonna try is the cassia. And this one's a longer version. And then the second one is gonna be the sunburst. And it's got a very unique shape. It looks pretty cool to grow. So I'm gonna give it a go. So number 12 and the last one are potatoes. And I'm gonna just go to the grocery store, the garden center and buy some organic potatoes and just chip them myself. I'm gonna plant those specifically in grow bags. So the ones I'm gonna be trying to get are the yellow gold and the russet. Those are very popular ones. I know they taste good. So I'm gonna try growing those from my very last pick. The 12 vegetables that I mentioned in this video are just a few that I'm growing this year. If I mentioned everything, it would be a hour long video. So if you guys wanna know exactly what I'm growing throughout the whole year, then click on the link in the description and it'll take you to a more detailed version of this. Thank you guys for watching until the end. If you enjoyed the video, you wanna see more, I think this 15 raised garden bed mistakes video up here is a great place to start. I'll see you there.